Find insight, guidance, and answers. answers. Tune into Spirit with radio medium Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee, tuning in to Spirit with my special guest, Wesley. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. And you? I'm uh, doing pretty well. I can say I'm feeling pretty good today. Oh, that's good. That's a lot more than most people can say in a day. Yes, absolutely. Especially given what's going on in our world right now. (laughs) It is crazy. That is the right word for it's crazy out there right now. So, Wesley, where are you calling in from? Columbia, Connecticut. Mm. One more from Connecticut. My gosh, you guys are congregating up there. I have so many callers. Yeah, we got a fan club. No, thank you. Wesley, the first impression I receive for you is I get a sense that you really don't go by Wesley. Like there's another name you go by amongst Um, family and friends other than Wesley. Does this make sense? Yep. So is Wesley something you use just, you know, for the show purposes? Because that's my sense of... It's kind of like business professional, you know? Okay, business professional. Because I also get a sense that somebody's tied to you that's got a namesake, first, middle name. Does that make sense? Down the family line. Right? Male. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, when we carry on a name from a loved one, ancestor on the other side, they're like our guide. So you are guided by this particular family member, father figure, on your path, just FYI. Wow. Okay. Who That's chewed, news to me, yeah. Wow. Who chewed tobacco? Is that him or was that you? Probably him. Mm-hmm. Probably him. I smoke cigarettes. You smoke cigarettes and he probably chewed. Yeah. Because I think tobacco is a thing with you guys. You stop Most that. Most likely. You stop that, Wes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is where he wants to go, Okay. That there was a relationship with someone who had a child or it was a child between the two of you. I don't know if this makes sense to you. It does. But there was a separation. And I don't know if this relation goes off and on or it did go off and on. But that's how I get. It's like a revolving door. Does this make sense? Yep. He says, you got to... Oh, man. All right. I know. He says, you got to stop that, you know, stop the arguing because there's something to do with the child that's still a bond between the two of you. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. You can't give up on it. That's insane. No, uh, I know. I'm, I'm, wow. That's crazy. That's really reassuring that like, I'm not alone in everything that I've been going through. And I have been working on the consistency in this relationship, and it's really important to me. So it means a lot to me just to hear something like that from him. Right. It's the child. And so it's bigger than the two of you, if you can grasp that. Absolutely. So it's not about you guys anymore. It's something so much bigger. And you can do this. You can do this. Yeah, that's uh, making me think about my daughter right now. Me and her mom haven't been, uh, you know, the picture-perfect relationship couple, I guess. But um, it is challenging sometimes, but it's definitely uh, reassuring just to hear him kind of, his guidance one last time. I just feel like the father figure you're getting is my grandfather. That is like my uh, father figure in life in a lot of ways, more than one lost in 2017. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I have a child right now with my fiance, and it's uh, it's coming through pretty clear because he would always tell me, you know, he'd probably give me a good nudge in the shoulder and, hey, you're better than that. You know what I mean? Get your yes. stuff together, and it's bigger than you. It's for your kid. So me right. being a father to my kid is kind of a resemblance to my grandfather and how he was to me. Yeah, and you're so loved and so adored by this kid. And, you know, <laughs> you, you can do this as a father figure. You can be that same kind of person he was to you. And, you know, as I say this, Wesley, you know, it's so funny. I never hear the name Wesley, and I love that name. You know what it reminds me of is Princess Bride. (laughs) I've heard that. I've heard that. Okay, well, I feel like I'm getting that to confirm it for you in regards to the message. What was it that he would always say to the princess? Anything or yes, my dear, or something like that. But that's how, do you understand? And that's how you will be towards your child. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Yes. No lie. Okay. I'm wrapped around her finger. She is my center of head. So yes, of course. I'll be right there like her butler, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It was a pleasure, Wesley. 
Thank you. Uh, thank your... you very much. It was a pleasure on my end as well. Yeah. And You're if the best. You, thank you. And if you want to be a caller, sign up on Radio Medium, Laura Lee, where you can subscribe to your favorite podcast too. And thank you for sharing the show. We appreciate it. <laughs>